All right, what's up? So I'm going to show you how to curl your synthetic wings. So I start off using just a big car sponge I bought at Walmart. It was it wasn't even two dollars. I cut into strips and then I cut the strips in half because the sponge is a little too thick. So you're just gonna do that until you get a little nice bundle for your whole wig. And I used this method before. That's why the wig looks a little beachy already. So I went ahead and sectioned it off. And starting with the bottom layer, I'm taking the biggest sponges first because I want the looser waves to be, of course, on the bottom and then the more defined to be on the top. So I'm just wrapping it around kind of like you would on a barrel of a curling iron because I want that look. And I'm pinching off the bottom and I'm taking one of those really tiny elastic bands and I am securing it. Now I'm just going in with the next group of hair and I'm just going to use the same method the whole way through. I want to try to get it to be all the way to the roots because I want the curls to be as defined as they can be. This Beachy Wave method doesn't create super defined curls. If you wanted more defined curls, then you would need to go smaller on the sponges or get those little rollers that they sell at like Walmart or any kind of beauty supply store. So like I said, I'm just going to keep on going with this, keep on wrapping. tell I'm grabbing like bigger and smaller sections because I don't want all the curls to be the same I want them to be like bigger or smaller so that way it creates like kind of a texture makes it a little bit prettier so that way it's not all the same so you're just gonna keep going so you got the whole head finished and now I'm taking a steamer this is just a handheld steamer that you can buy at like Target Walmart, I believe it's the brand Conair. There are bigger steamers that you could use that create more steam and are more like, you know, heavy duty. But this worked just fine for me in the past. It worked just fine for me with this video. So you can go get a cheaper one. You don't have to go for something expensive. This works just fine. I'm just going to steam around it a few times until I feel like it's good. You can touch it and if the hair feels hot and kind of wet, then that's what you're looking for. And since I couldn't really get the top because the steam kept like floating away, I'm going to create like kind of like a hood. And I'm just going to add steam into the bag so that way 
the steam kind of collects at the top of the bag and creates like a hood of steam. So that way the top sections get steamed as well. And with a synthetic wig, the reason why you can't like really use a curling iron or a straightener or anything like that is because the synthetic fibers need to be trained in a sense. So that's why steam works. This wig used to be pretty curly, but since I dyed it with boiling water and fabric dye, it lost its curl. So that's why I have to use this method to give it some life back because it was just like straight and kinky and ugly. And so I waited till the next day and took it all out and this is what it was. Like I said, if you wanted more defined curls, you're going to have to go with something smaller. But I wanted this exact look, this loose bed head beach wave. So there you go. And go ahead and check out my last video with this cut crease stamp. Thanks.